Hey y'all, back for another short hair tutorial. Today I'm gonna do a quick and easy kind of spiky look. The sides are gonna be pretty, you know, calm down. There's gonna be a little bit of play going on up here in the top. So to get started, I got a little bit of this Sebastian Shaper that I always use. And a little bit of this cheat iron guard because I'm going to be using a lot of heat. And then to top it off, I use Design design Essentials. What is this? Reflections. I just, this adds gloss, but I mainly like it because it smells good. When I used to get my hair done in the salon, she used to use that. So it just, I like it. And my regular little curlers, which is this Curl Master. And my Jill Bear. Formerly, the so heat up, but that is the bomb.com. And my combs, a regular little comb, a rat tail comb, and a pick because I can't find my wide tooth comb. And this is just to comb through. And I already molded it, just a regular mold, and edged up the sides and edged up the back a little bit to give it a cleaner look. So, I'm going to comb the hair how I want to curl it. I want this section right there going forward. And when I, um, when I molded it, I molded it like this in the front. You know, like a little swoop. That's why it has that little bit to it. And then this part I want going back. And this forward. Yep, just like that. So it looks a little weird, but when I curl it, it'll look right. And this like this. So the sides are going to be just down with my edges like they are. This is going to be down. This will be forward. And this will be spiked up. So I'm going to decide where I want my spikes to start going forward. And I think, yeah, that's good right there. So comb that forward. I do have a fresh relaxer. And I put a little bit of color in my hair. This is step one. That's why it's so um, like um, bronzy looking and not toned and stuff. I'm not going to tone it because I'm going to lift it again. I actually didn't put color on. I just lifted it. And I'm going to lift it again. So I'm not going to do anything to correct the color because it will interfere with when I lift it again. So. that yeah so when I turn to the side yeah that's where I want my forward spikes to start and I'm going to start from the center so I take my section and I'm doing this at the root because it's the fresh relaxer so it's a little stiff at the roots like this Spray a little iron guard all over. It's a little bit. And work it in. And then a little Sebastian shaper. Oh, I hate the way this stuff smells. I'm gonna try to hold my nose. Got this. And go forward. Just like that. Next section. And I'm going to keep the spikiness like right here. 
and then everything else will kind of flow off that. So like these little pieces here, if you see how that's parted, it's going to be spiked, but it's not going to be um, so forward. It's kind of going to be like this, a little tighter in that way so I can build it down and it'll flow. I'll put this back. keep going because our core ever curl will okay so this is like dead in the middle if you turn if I turn to the side you can see this is like directly in the middle and these pieces aren't actually going to be curled forward or backward they're actually going to be straight up so because I don't want a part in the middle I break it up like this but this is going to be straight up with a little tiny band like you can't even tell there's a bend like that. I'm gonna do all these pieces that way, or both these pieces, I should say. The same thing here. This is gonna be straight up. And then go back and just barely like that. See it? And for sure, I'm going to spray that. And then starting with the next row, they're going to be curled back. The same as I curled these forward, these will go back. Okay, that's that next section that's going back. So if I turn to the side, you can see the formation of everything. And as I get closer to my um, forehead, I'm bumping smaller and smaller sections of the middle so I started pretty wide and as I'm going forward it's almost going like this into a V so that leaves my sides not curled so I can see what's going on here later and then I can go back and make sure that they're blended if you just start curling 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 you may curl too wide too high you may decide that one piece that's down should be up and then it's harder to redirect a curl after it's curled and cooled off so okay. that's why I do it that way this section right here you can see how far over I went. Not very. I left a lot of this and a lot of this. A lot of this. Because what I'm going to do, I want this curled going back. And this, I want to blend into this. So, this is how I do it. I start with this section. Like in the diagonal. And I'm going to curl it. This is how I'm holding my curlers, but... I'm going to curl it like that. So I'm kind of going forward. If you can see that curl right there. That's how you want it. The curl is actually, if I could do it with my hand, the curl is going like this. That's what you want. I have to make the noise. And so you want to keep going. But I'm also leaving this little sliver right there. Because I'll show you why in a minute. It's all about blending this. Same thing. Like that. That's going to blend into this and eventually become a curl as we get down. But you want it to go into the spikes but not be spiked. That's the look I'm going for. This is going to almost be curled like this. Almost. It's going to be... How do I describe? down but not like this and you want to flip that wrist when you come out of that curl so it went like this the curler the hot flat iron went like this I pulled it this way as I was coming out so that that goes like that and I'll deal with the front later and I'm going to keep going on this side since I'm already over here so this I want to go back but it's still going to be a little bit spiky, so it's not going to be a full curl. It's going to be like 
that. And I'm, I can feel my hair, so I don't, I mean, I can feel where I'm parting and how far back I'm going. And I'm also flicking that wrist that way just a little as I go further down closer to my ear. And this I'm not too concerned about, like it doesn't need to stand up or anything special, so I'll manipulate it even before it's um, cooled off because basically I'm kind of just bumping it at this point. And as I'm going down, I'm doing more of an exact curl. This is going to be kind of spiky, spiky, and as I go down, it's going to be tighter and tighter and tighter. Not super tight, not grandma tight, but tighter. And then I'll come back up. And do the same thing, just keep curling this in a downward motion, like that. This section right here is going to be more down this way and not back. This might be too big, but we'll see. Might work. So what I'm going to do is take a check in the mirror from the side. So I can see what's going on. Y'all see me? There. And I think what I'm going to do is start curling this part up and take it just to even it out so that when I come right here, I know where I'm going. You need to get a mirror and look. Get a mirror and look. This whole section is going to be curled this way, going up. We don't want that too hard of a curl either. That's still in the spiky section. Oh, I dropped a comb. So let's see. Yep, perfect. Look at that part. I wasn't even looking. Look at that part. See what I meant about doing this? So when I get here, I'll know exactly where to go. When I'm here, you know, I'll know exactly where to go because this is like my guide. If you just start curling, I mean, maybe you're that good that you could just go like that. I'm not. I need a, you know, I need a guy. A little section right here. Which, now I can decide. Do I want this down? Do I want it up? I want that part up and this part down. So that's what I'm going to do. Just going to go down. It's still kind of spiky. See, it's not a full curl. This section I'm going to do up. With that same kind of flick where I'm going that way. Okay, so I finished curling the back down. And that's how it looks. It's just curled down to probably like right here. So I'm going to go to this side. And finish curling well, this now. Start right here. And I'm going to curl it down. Like that. That's it. I'm just making sure to um, connect it to the back so there's not a big gap right here. And be careful when you're curling the opposite side of your head. Like I'm right handed and I'm curling this side because you have a tendency to do like this. But you want it to be straight down so drop your hand and use your wrist to come down. Like when you're doing this it's very easy to come straight down but you want to mimic that motion over here. Out of the way. I'm calling this from the root and this is going to go like this. Same little flick like that. Next section is gonna almost be it's gonna almost be curled straight down like this with just a little bit of a bend. There. And 
this is the look I want. If you want a different shape, you have to curl accordingly. But this is how I want it to go. And these, sometimes I curl this. Sometimes I don't because I like to plug my sideburns and kind of shape them up. But this won't hurt. I can still shape this up later. But just to give it a little bit of something, uh, I'm just going to bump it. So that it'll go like that easier when I get ready to do that. Then we have this front section up in here, which I'm going to flip this back and to the side. It's a little harder than I want. And when I cut my hair, you see this? I cut this intentionally shorter. So like this is the length of my <clears throat> bang, the front part of my hair. But I cut this short so I can play around with this and make my little baby hairs and whatever else I want to do. So it, it's just easier when I want to create that look um, to have that shorter. See how it just... And it doesn't look like you got bangs down to here and you trying to swoop them in an S because it's shorter. It's not that much effort. But because these bangs, my regular bangs, are that length and I want to come from a deep side part, I can and it all blends like that. Like this, perfect. And then as I play with this, I'll blend it all in. So now, you just like, you know, play with it. And it's really full because my hair is a a little longer on the top but this is the look I want I missed some sections I don't want it that spiky but if you notice like this back part where I went up right here forward and then these started going down you see how it just it'll blend all together and I like to scrunch it like this and I'm putting my fingers at the root and pulling it and adjusting it and you know I'm just making it like I want it and I'm really freaking pissed off because I bought some Aveda control paste which I love I think it is the bomb product for relaxed girls who want to manipulate their edges this is going to be disobedient as hell um I had a big jar of it. That junk was like $25. And nobody knows where it is. I think one of my kids took it on to be honest. And I'm kind of pissed because that stuff is not freaking cheap. This is the part I want like that. I want this down more like this. This is my heavy side. I like it like that. Get rid of that part. So, I'm going to have to probably use like my Murray's, um, what am I trying to say? Pomade and play with it because magically don't nobody know where the hell my stuff is at. I'm really pissed off about that. But this is it. This is pretty much the look. If you don't want it to be so square right there, you know, just make a play with it. And keep playing with it. Once you get it exactly where you want it, and you have to go back in. That's why I used that um, heat protectant because I'm using a lot of heat. But once you get it where you want it, I would do like an overall spray of holding spray, which I use the Sebastian Shaper. And then some kind of glosser. And then I would manipulate my edges. I freaking hate 
hate the way this stuff smells, but it's then I'm gonna take my glosser. I love the way this smells. You have to be careful with this stuff. It's kind of like um, glycerin. Like you don't you don't want to overdo it. And it moves, meaning if I spray right here, I can finger it down, and it'll. All of this will be glossy. So yeah, I like that. I like all they're just giving me. I like all of that. I like all of that. I had to figure out what to do with my edges because. If I think about it, I just get pissed off. Because I like my edges to look um like almost wet. Like really, really shiny, but a hold, and I don't want to use gel in my relaxed hair. Damn, I'm mad about my control paste. Turn around, make sure everything's good from the rear. Cover up any um Parts. I hate parts. Make sure the edges in the back are good. My nape is nice and neat. I used to have the three little, but I just cut it recently because it was getting too long. It was kind of working on my nerves. I turn from every side, every angle. It's good. It's all good. There we go. Another cute little pixie style at home, not in the salon for seven hours. I like that. That's a messy like that too. All right, then. Bye, y'all.